got to do. Then she going to introduce Pastor Shroud. Amen. And he going to bring the word. Amen. 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 See, y'all think about it and you pray about it. We always put the word last. Amen. The word really should be first. First. Amen. If not first, at least in the center. Come on, quiet. Amen. So uh, we're going to bring him up. Amen. They and need then once he finishes preaching, then we're going to pick up the offering and then come back and quiet. Going to sing. Amen. Amen. Y'all look at me straight. No, nah, we ain't looking at you straight. Amen. That's the way you want to do it. Amen. Have your way, God. Amen. I'm telling y'all, the one that come in late going to miss it. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Praise God. That's all right, take them up. You can put them up there. Put them up there where you need them. Amen.
greatest gift. Bless you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, well, well. Our Father and our God, now we come to claim thy holy word to these your people. Father, let the words now of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, thou art my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Indeed, this morning, we're so grateful to be here with you be in the company of a great brother, Pastor Grant. It's always yes. a joy. Always a joy to be around him. Certainly we're grateful to see all of you this morning. Amen. I learned from my dear friend that you just heard from Evangelist Johnson that when you get up and preach, you always tell people I ain't gonna be long. <laughs> no, no, how she says it, I'm not gonna be before you very long. <laughs> so I, I I've learned that. But I'm glad this morning. Um, this is Christmas morning, the birth of Christ reason enough to rejoice. Amen. Heard somebody this morning say it could have been another way. That's right, that's right, that's right. But we are we're certainly thankful to all of my colleagues in the pulpit, to the officers, members of both churches this morning. Do say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. From the gospel according to Luke. All right. Gospel according to Luke, second chapter. All right. 
afraid to make change. Oh, that we want to keep things just like they've always been. Oh, you heard church folks say we never did that before. Somebody back here said, Bob, I'm <laughs> We thank God this morning that the meaning of Christmas did not let Scrooge alone. Christmas kept on coming. And in its coming one year, it touched something very deep in Scrooge. Yeah. Uh -huh. Something that made him change. Yeah. And Christmas yeah. keeps on coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the meaning yeah. of Christmas. Yeah. The real reason for the season. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas keeps on coming. Yeah. And I'm so glad this morning yeah. that the Lord allows it to come. Yeah. Christmas keeps on Coming with a gift that keeps on coming. Yeah. 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 Keeps on coming yeah. with the healing power yeah. that we need this morning. Yeah. And Christmas uh -huh. keeps on coming, yeah. giving us another chance yeah. to stand up for the baby yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. And Christmas yeah. keeps on.
to be a night that they would never forget. Yeah. Something marvelous yeah. was happening yeah. to their Monday life. Yeah. Yeah. Something special yeah. that they couldn't explain. Yeah. Something good yeah. that they couldn't explain. Yeah. Ordinary shepherds okay. were given an extraordinary opportunity. Yeah. You know God is still in the business of moving in mysterious ways. Yeah. 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 The Christmas record is a reminder that all things are possible. Yeah. 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 All with the God yeah. that we serve. Whether we can explain them or not. Just because God has not doesn't mean that God cannot. Just because God has not doesn't mean that God will. So glory, hallelujah. So Christmas comes and it brings extraordinary opportunity. Yeah. 
shepherds. I don't know where they got that story from, but they're just so unreliable. They're so unbelievable. They, they don't have any credibility. You're messing with them guys. There's something wrong with them. Here they are bringing the word of God. Here they are telling you what God has for you. And yet, because we don't like to change things, we want to stay on the mundane things of life. Yes, they did. They relayed the message that God, through his angels, had given them. Yes. Funny ending to this story is that shepherds, remember, left their flock. Never left. So they had to go back. And I guess their attitude was, look here, I told y'all what was up here. I told y'all what the Lord said. But you had... No confidence because I'm a shepherd. I told you about the good news of the coming of the Savior of the world. Oh, boy, you didn't want to hear what I said. I told you about the coming of one who could heal us from all our wounds. Oh, but you didn't want to hear what I had to say. And so I'm going back to work. And I'm going to leave you so you can work it out. I'm going back to work with the word of God in my heart. I'm going back to work with prayer and praises in my mouth. I'm going back to work with my belief system intact.
an encounter with the Lord. Yes, yes sir. They had a conversation with him. Yes. And those Monday nights that they spent up on the hillsides night after night after night, herding their sheep, would never allow them to be the same. Yes. I guarantee you, you have your encounter with the Lord. Yes. My brothers and my sisters, you will 